With the recently announced Microsoft Surface Book 3, we're seeing an evolution in the lineup for Microsoft's laptop-tablet hybrid. Since the five years when the Surface Book originally launched, we've seen some incremental changes to the hinge and the design, and also a pretty substantial change to the internals, to the point where the Surface Book 3 is looking to be a best-in-class competitor for a slim, high-powered laptop for creative. We've seen this in the increased screen size with the Microsoft Surface Book 2 refresh, as well as the increased internals for graphics and RAM with the upcoming Surface Book 3. But there's been one thing that hasn't changed with the Surface Book 2 through all three iterations of this machine. And that is this crazy display. Branded as Microsoft's PixelSense display, the actual panel has remained unchanged since the original Surface Book 1, and this is for good reason. It's simply an awesome panel. In this video, I'll go over some of the things that make this display so unique among its competitors, and why it looks like we'll be seeing the PixelSense display on the Surface Book lineup for a few years to come. First, we'll go into the panel and this upcoming Surface Book 3 and what you might be expecting from the different models. And then we'll go into some specifics about the display in terms of specifications. Finally, this video will take a look at why the PixelSense display on the Surface Book series is just so special. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe and leave a message below if you or anyone you know enjoy using the Surface Book lineup. So let's get right into it in terms of what Microsoft has announced with the Per Surface Book 3's display. For the upcoming Surface Book 3 to be released on June 5th, 2020, Microsoft is confirming that it's staying with the two display sizes of 13.5 inches and 15 inches. While there have been changes to the internals, there's been no announced changes to the PixelSense display. So that means with a 13.5 inch model, we're looking at a 3000 by 2000 resolution, 3 by 2 aspect ratio display, just like the Surface Book 2. And that's not a bad thing, since this is arguably the best in-class display that was seen on Ultra Portables that year. For the bigger 15 inch model, we have also a 3 by 2 aspect ratio display and a resolution at 3240 by 2160. This puts the respective pixels per inch is at 267 for the 13 inch model and 258 for the 15 inch model. So just to get a sense of how special this display is, let's compare it with one of its well-known competitors, the MacBook Pro. The 13.3 inch retina display on the latest MacBook Pro packs a 2560 by 1600 resolution which stands at 227 pixels per inch. It has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio as opposed to 3 by 2 which you get on the Surface Book 3. So in comparison, you have a 3000 by 2000 inch resolution on the 13.5 inch Surface Book 3 panel with the 267 pixels per inch. So for two machines that are comparable in price, and size, you're getting a higher pixel density for roughly the same amount of screen real estate. And the panel itself is also remarkably thin, and that's what makes this such a unique tablet laptop hybrid. At 13.5 inches, you're getting a full high resolution working multi-touch display, and if you happen to have the Surface Pen included in your package, you're getting a very high functioning stylus as well. All the internals of the Surface Book 3 are also packed into the tablet portion. So your processor and also your storage function while the tablet is attached from the base. It also contains its own battery. So the Surface Book 2 had some very high performing battery life benchmarks. So in a nutshell, what you're getting with this display is an incredibly well crafted pixel dense machine that fulfills everything you would need from a high resolution touchscreen tablet with the added benefit of being a workhorse of a creative laptop if you attach it to the base. It's a very compelling package and it's only getting better with the latest refresh with the Surface Book 3. 
So these are some of the reasons why the Surface Book Pixel Sense display is so special. Yes, it, yes, it's an LED display and it's not AMOLED, and yes, it's also not 4K. But what separates it from some of its competitors that might have a little bit higher specs or pixel resolution is the fact that it's packaged in such an unusual 2-in-1 laptop. You get this crazy fulcrum hinge which allows you to adjust the already excellent viewing angles on the display. And Microsoft's magnesium alloy base is an excellent complement to this panel. So if you're looking for an excellent 3x2 aspect ratio display that competes with some of the other major laptop manufacturers at this price point, then the Surface Book 3's panel certainly won't disappoint. What do you think? Are there other laptops in this class that have nicer, better lit displays? Leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.